Hi, Brockton residents. It's Mayor Sullivan. Welcome to the 31st episode of Our Brockton. And I say this all the time, but the title, Our Brockton, it, it, that's what it means. It's Our Brockton. It's our home. It's our community. We want to have a safe, prosperous, healthy community. So it really is an honor and privilege to serve as the mayor. Uh, today, you're going to be able to meet uh, the members of my team uh, that make up the mayor's uh, office. Just such a beautiful group of dedicated public servants, diverse people with skill sets and backgrounds that are making a difference here in Brockton. And we also have uh, instituted a new initiative. It's called the B Initiative, B-E Brockton Excellence. And uh, again, it's an excellent opportunity to meet uh, the members of the mayor's team. And I thank you for your attention. I look forward to the next episode of Our Brockton. So enjoy and get to meet the Brockton's team. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sydney Marrow, and I am the Chief of Staff to the Mayor of the City of Brockton, Mayor Robert Sullivan. As the Chief of Staff, I run point for the staff of uh, the Mayor's Office in terms of coordinating all of our efforts to see that our constituents' concerns in any of the issues that might uh, occur in the various departments throughout City Hall are handled efficiently, appropriately, and professionally. Uh, my name is John Messier. I am the Director of Constituent Services, Community Engagement and Outreach. I do direct the Mayor's Health Equity Task Force and his Wellness Trust Team during uh, COVID times. Um, so my name is Andrea. I'm doing a fellowship in the Mayor's Office and I am working on creating a health equity report for the City of Brockton. I'm just going to be doing a deeper dive on existing health inequities in the community. And I'm also working on a couple housing projects to help improve the quality of life and housing in Brockton. Uh, well, like you said, my name is Davison Perez. Uh, I'm the public relations associate uh, here in the mayor's office. And uh, a little bit about my role is um, basically writing press releases, um, any internal and external communications that come out of the mayor's office um, to city employees, to residents, um, working on the social media page, and um, basically just anything that um, the office needs me to do. So um, my name is Kim Son, and um, I am the executive aide to Mayor Sullivan. Um, my responsibility includes you know, handling the mayor's daily schedule and any other tasks that he needs assistance with. Um, I also serve as a um, liaison for senior level officials and constituents. Hello, my name is Jensen Denoyce. I'm the communications liaison for the mayor's office. With my role, I'm responsible for adding content to the social media, and most important, I'm also responsible to producing the mayor's television show, Our Brockton. Our Brockton is a weekly program where the mayor addresses his initiatives and also interview people in the community who are doing great work and great deeds. Um, so my name is Jasmine Bradshaw. I am the Director of Social Services here in the Mayor's Office. I started in mid-October. Um, before that, I had been at Father Bill's in Mainspring, so I have an extensive history working with those who are experiencing homelessness, mental health conditions, and physical health conditions. Um, my name is Joseph Francois, and my role at the Mayor's Office is uh, as a part-time uh, constituent liaison. So my name is Brady Winston. I'm the Policy and Intergovernmental Affairs Associate for the Mayor's Office. Uh, so I assist the Mayor working with City Council, with the State Delegation, with the Federal Delegation, and then any policy initiatives he wants to do. To me, since my background and experiences and passions lie in public health, Brockton Excellence is continuously working to improve the health and well-being of Brockton residents, whether this is done on looking at diversity and equity issues at the school level or working on creating housing opportunities for those who are suffering from homelessness, I think that's what makes an excellent Brockton. Well, to me, I moved to Brockton about six months ago, and one of the biggest things I've noticed is how proud everyone is to be from Brockton or to live in Brockton. So working for the mayor's office, I think it's up to us to improve the services that the city provides in any way we can for us to be excellent for the residents because of how proud they are of their city so we can all um, you know, live in a better Brockton together. I think Brockton excellence really just means um, going out into the world and leading with empathy and leading with kindness. Um, I lead uh, my own life. I try to live by this uh, famous Plato quote that says, 
uh, be kind to everyone because um, be kind to everyone for you don't know the journey that they're walking. Um, so I try to try to live by that and uh, I think that's a key component in, in Brockton excellence. Um, when I hear Brockton excellence, I think of just everything that I've experienced in the time that I've grown up here. Um, so I am a resident of Brockton. I've lived here my entire life since I was born. Um, I went to incredible schools, had incredible teachers, uh, met some of the most caring people in my life that would take time out of their day to do things above and beyond what a teacher is expected to do. Um, my father was a firefighter here in Brockton for about 30 years, um, so I know you know, a job like that is very hard on people. It takes a lot to go back every day despite the things that you see. Um, just the diverse city that we have here, there's people from just about anywhere you can think of that you'll come across at some point in your life and getting to know a little bit about each of those people, their culture, things that mean things to them, what's important to them, and getting to see all of that kind of in one place has just been really great. When I think about Brockton excellence, I think about the great people in this community, the people who work every day to strive and improve. Not only the people in the community, but the people who made Brockton such a great city throughout history. The past, present, and future. A city that has a lot of potential, a lot of greatness. And there's a reason why they call it City of Champions. Not because of, not only because of the great athletes, the boxers, like Marvin Hagler and Rocky Marciano, but the champions who wake up every day, who strive to make the community safer, who work together for the unity uh, and also promote diversity. Here in the mayor's office, we believe in Brockton excellence, and it is our responsibility to make sure that that excellence continues on a consistent basis, whether it's listening to our constituents or even learn about the cultures in the city. Brockton excellence is the past, the present, and future of the city of Brockton. Brockton excellence means the commitment and dedication of the hardworking individuals and residents of the City of Champions, all those that have come before us and all those present and in the future to uphold what Brockton really is, is the true City of Champions. Okay, what does Brockton excellence mean to me? Brockton excellence is to lead our research on park and uh, works to create and to create and improve and to promote the city. That's what excellence is all about. To be direct, I think Brockton is the city of an immigrant and dominated by immigrants need to know that whatever who represents the immigrant in the city, oh, we need to know what's going on in the city and you know what's coming and what's going in the city of Champion. So um, my family moved to Brockton in 2010 and um, I've been with the mayor's office for about four years now. Um, since I've been here, I've always felt very welcomed and um, relatable in a lot of different aspects. Um, I'll be the first to admit that I didn't know much about local government, but um, now it's very rewarding to be able to assist constituents in different capacities. Um, my family is from Cambodia, so I definitely understand um, the frustration associated with language barriers. So, like I said, it's very rewarding to be able to assist constituents. Um, Brockton is very diverse. Um, I love that we have a lot of different um, associations and I feel like that really reflects you know, us as a community and that's what Brockton Excellence means to me. Oh my goodness, I was so thrilled when, uh, when Jensen came up with the idea of hashtag be Brockton Excellence. We have dedicated the year to uh, creating a word of the week every week for our staff that begins with E. And so far, we've come up with um, earnest, which means we will work earnestly to assure our constituents that they are our first priority, uh, a major concern for the office of the mayor and the mayor personally. Uh, on, oh, on so many levels, the mayor is 
he is Brockton. He was born and raised here, is raising his family here, and the city is very important to him. So he takes excellence among his staff very seriously. And so by adopting these E-words, we hope to exemplify what it means to be excellent in terms of, you know, the future of our city, not ignoring the past and really taking the care and concern necessary to make sure that we go through extraordinary measures to make sure that excellence is on the forefront of every endeavor in the city.